Hello, cosmic friends. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Emily. I am a psychic medium, an intuitive, an Akashic Records reader, a quantum energy healer. And in my work, I help connect my clients to their divine mission and purpose in this lifetime so that they can live a more cosmically and galactically inspired lifestyle just like I do. In today's video, we are talking all about masculine versus feminine energy. What those concepts are and how to know whether you have more of a dominant masculine energy or a more dominant feminine energy. And in a future video, you'll be learning how to bring those energies back into balance in your own life. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, my cosmic friends, today we're talking all about masculine versus feminine energies. And the first way that I want to bring this into your awareness is to note and for your understanding that we live in a universe of polarity and a universe of duality. It is the way that our universe was created when divine source first decided to create separation and decided to separate itself so that it could experience and learn more about what it meant to be in this energy of separation. So this is a really cool thing. And we, because of this, it gives us this opportunity in our lives to learn more about ourselves through learning more about our own duality, our own masculine and feminine energies within us, It gives us the opportunity to learn more about light versus dark energies, and it gives us this opportunity to learn about the whole spectrum of energy so that we can get to know ourselves better and we can learn more about who we are during this time on Earth. And this topic is so incredibly important because it helps us to feel more in flow in our day-to-day lives. So again, I want to take a moment to note that we're talking about energy today. We're talking about energetic frequency. We're talking about the dynamics of our energy body that we can't necessarily see with our physical eyes, but that very much are playing an active role in how we live our day-to-day, how we take action or we don't take action, how we feel versus what we think, and so on and so forth. So we're not talking about genders today. We, I have to say that we're not talking about physical genders. We are talking about energy frequencies. So it's really important to note that no matter what gender you identify with, if you identify with a gender at all, it doesn't matter because every single one of us has our own unique balance of masculine and feminine energy, whether you're male, female, or you have you identify with your own gender no matter what that's incredible first of all but every single one of us has masculine and feminine energy within us and of course take as always anything from these videos that resonates with you and leave what doesn't so the reason why it's important to know about our masculine and our feminine energy within our energy body is that, again, our universe is all about balance. It's about that polarity and it's about balance. So by learning how to bring these energies into balance in your own life, you're going to find so much more balance in your day to day. You're going to find more de- balance within who you are. You're going to find more flow and more ease in your everyday life, and you're gonna have new opportunities that are presented to you as you learn more about this part of yourself and you learn more about your energy and your energy body. So let's get into what the difference is between masculine energy and feminine energy. So masculine energy in its highest and purest frequency in its highest and best form is, if I could put a word on it, it is the provider. Masculine energy is the provider energy. It is action oriented and it is a go getter. The divine masculine energy is all about being assertive, not aggressive, being assertive. It's all about being confident, and it's also about being strong and carrying inner strength. 
The divine masculine energy is also all about structure and organization. It's also about logic and having an, either an illogical thought process or an analytical thought process. Again, it's about that organization, that structure, that container. Divine masculine energy also is very externally focused. It's focused on what's going on outside of itself. It's not so much focused on what's going on internally, what's going on inside of itself. Divine masculine energy also sets really strong boundaries. It, sounds, it sets boundaries for its own good and it sets boundaries with others. And finally, it is very disciplined. It is very disciplined in nature and it takes very guided action in order to create its goals, for example. So that's masculine energy. So what is feminine energy? Divine feminine energy in its highest and purest form, if I could put one word on it, it is the nurturer. Feminine energy is heart-centered, whereas masculine energy is very head-centered, feminine energy is very heart-centered. It is also very intuitive. So where the masculine energy is very logical and very analytical, feminine energy is very intuitive. It is also very compassionate and loving. Again, heart-centered focus. Compassionate and loving. It is also very creative. Very, very creative. And it is, again, also very gentle. And it's very accepting and loving. And it is also very forgiving. And where the divine masculine has its focus on the external world, the divine feminine has its focus on the internal world, on what's going on within self. Finally, the divine feminine also knows how to, energy knows how to rest. Whereas the masculine is all about taking action, the divine feminine is all about resting and receiving. So the divine masculine is about providing and the feminine is about receiving and being and nurturing and being nurtured and being supported. So based on everything that I've shared, it's pretty easy to tell that we live in a very masculine energy dominated society, a very masculine energy dominated world, really, especially here in the United States. I mean, we place such a heavy emphasis on being go-getters, being action-oriented, uh, being hustlers, you know, grinding, going and to work every single day, and so on and so forth. And very this heavy energy of take what's yours and take action and so on and so forth. So even if you, for example, identify as being a female, uh, female gender, I mean, not female energy, but if you evoke it, if you identify with being a female like I do, it can be very common for us as women to have an overabundance of masculine energy. I know this in my own life. I worked for a corporate in a corporate job in a corporate environment for a long time. I went, you know, through the whole schooling system. I went to college, university, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All of those are very masculine focused structures. So because of that and because I was kind of programmed and wired from college and my corporate job to be action oriented, to be that go getter, to focus on logic, focus on structure, focus on organization. I personally carried a more uh, masculine energy within myself for a long time. So that may be true for you. Um, but just in general, just to give you an example of how our collective is focused, it is very, very common to have this overabundance of masculine energy. And we're going to get into kind of what some of those signs and symptoms are of having more of a masculine versus having more of a feminine energy and what that looks like. So how to know if your energies are out of balance? How, to, how do you know if your masculine energy is out of balance. So if you have an overabundance of masculine energy, meaning you have more masculine than more feminine energy. So if you think about it on a 50-50 uh, perspective, if you had 50% feminine, 50% masculine energy, your energy field would be balanced. If you have 
I guess, 50, more than 51% masculine energy, then you may have one of the following symptoms. Number one, you may be very naturally wired to work, work, work day in and day out, and you may have a very hard time resting. This is just a general symptom. Of course, there are so many other things that are going on, but from a masculine versus energy focus, uh, using this as our lens of perception, you, if you have more of an abundance of masculine energy, you may be focused on working all the time, taking action all the time. You may have a very hard time allowing others to take action for you or allowing others to support you. You may have a really hard time accepting help um, and you may have a hard time asking for help or letting others know that you need help and support because you're so wired to do everything yourself. You may also be very focused on logic within your life. So you may lean towards making most of your decisions based on your head and what your head is telling you to do. You may love making your pro and con lists and very much thinking through your decisions in a very linear way. And you may have a really hard time getting out of your head and really making in, making decisions from an intuitive perspective or from a heart-based perspective, which is very much the divine feminine, which we're, we're going to get into. So again, you may be very focused on making those logical analytical decisions and not allowing yourself to lean into your intuition or your heart space or your gut, your intuitive gut space to make decisions. You may also really carry this energy, this reactive, triggered energy of feeling like you need to fight for things. So you feel like you need to absolutely fight and take action, and you are very in a space of a reactionary energy. So you may feel very reactive during certain situations. You may want to fight back against others, or you may want to use this sort of aggressive over assertive language with others in order to get what you want. Uh, you're very much fighting for yourself. You are, again, in this very reactive sort of triggered energy. You feel like you need to fight for everything in order to get what you need or in order to give others payback if that's the way that you feel about what's going on in your life. You may also be very focused on results and on achieving results in your life, on achieving goals in your life, that you don't necessarily think about anything else going on other than getting those goals, other than taking that action, other than uh, focusing on what it is that you are trying to do in your life. So you may be so focused on, you know, getting up and going to work for your nine to five that you may be less focused on coming home to help your family at night or doing things for other people in your life because you're so focused on that act, taking action on that job, on that work. And again, this can be different for everybody. This may manifest for you in different ways, but these are just some of the more common ways to, common things to take a look at that you may be already noticing about some of the people in your life that you didn't realize were there. Again, hard time accepting help and support, really hard time letting others do the work for you, hard time delegating, um, and a hard time letting yourself take a step back <laughs> and relax and rest, especially if you feel guilty for resting, if you feel guilty for relaxing for any reason. It's a big sign that you have an overabundance of masculine energy in your field. You may also set up, because the masculine is all about boundaries, right? You may also set up, instead of boundaries, you may set up walls. So you may set up really strong walls so that others have a hard time getting to know you. You may have a really hard time being vulnerable. You may have a very hard time sharing emotion or sharing your feelings or even feeling your feelings. If you're one of those people who hasn't cried in 10 years, very likely that you have an overabundance of masculine energy in your field. So if you have a hard time connecting to your feelings and emotions, especially sharing them with others, that is a really big sign that you have an overabundance of masculine energy in your field. You may also notice that you become, and this is a sign for both, but if you really isolate yourself to avoid getting hurt, to avoid showing how you feel, to avoid um, rejection or abandonment and so on and so forth, if you really 
isolate yourself, put up those walls, and really just focus on the work and whatever action you're taking or whatever your goals are without allowing yourself to feel and be in your feelings and in your emotions and allow others in into your life if you really isolate yourself. That's a really big sign that your masculine energy may be out of balance. Finally, if you're just doing too much, if you're doing all of the things and you feel like you barely can take a breath by the end of the day, um, that is a really big sign that your masculine energy is out of balance. And of course, we're sharing all of this coming from the perspective of compassionate detachment. And when I say compassionate de detachment, I mean just observe some of these qualities within you or within other people in your life, be aware of them, and know that we can we can bring those energies back into balance. It is not, this is not a death sentence or this is not um, something scary by any means. It's just all about observing, coming to some conclusions and knowing that there's time there. This is giving you the space and ability to make a shift in your life and to make a change because it will help you to feel better in life in general. So how do you know if your feminine energy is out of balance? Let's talk about that next. So if you have an overabundance of feminine energy in your life, again, when we're using that 50-50, you have more than 51% feminine energy in your life. So number one, I like to give the example of that feeling that you have when you spent all weekend on the couch, just watching TV, just hanging out, feeling super unmotivated and not doing anything. Very big, very big indicator that um, your feminine energy is out of balance. So I don't like to use the word lazy because you're not being lazy. It's just this, you feel the need to rest over rest, to allow yourself to step back a little too much, uh, to really just kind of check out from doing things um, and to really just kind of lean back and not do anything at all. So that's one way that this can show up. You may also not be using your time in a very purposeful way. So perhaps you don't really have any organization in your life. Maybe you just kind of go about your day without any kind of structure or semblance of uh, organization at all. And of course, this can look different for everybody. But if it's really getting to the point where it's bothering you and your laundry is piling up and you haven't gotten anything done and you've just been scrolling social media all day, that can be an indicator that your feminine energy is out of balance. If you're not spending your time in a purposeful way and you feel like you're really just mismanaging your time and you feel just disorganized in general and super unmotivated and a little bit checked out. You can also feel a little bit like your head is too much in the clouds and you may feel really ungrounded. So if you feel super disconnected with your body, if you feel a little bit spacey, a little bit too dreamy, a little bit too out in the cosmos and not so much here in the physical world, that can be a really big sign that your feminine energy is out of balance, especially if and I have seen a lot of intuitive and spiritual teachers in this space who spend too much time in the upper chakras, too much time, you know, meditating and connecting to the spirit world that they're not here in the physical and here in their physical body and they're super ungrounded. That is a really big sign that their feminine energy is out of balance. Um, another big sign is if you are just really deep into your feelings and emotions and your sensitivities. So of course, it's all about balance, right? We have we are here to feel the full spectrum of emotions to process them to release them. But if you are crying all day, of course, and of course, this is not a video about mental illness by any means. This is just a perspective on masculine versus feminine energy. Again, take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. But if you're so much in your feelings all of the time, and you're just, you can't get yourself out of that space. Again, maybe you are crying all day, every day, or you're just constantly in this state of emotional overwhelm and your sensitivities are really on overdrive. That can be a big sign that your feminine energy is out of balance. Um, it can also be the case if you are really picking up on the feelings and energies of others, where your empathy, your empathic gift, if you identify with being an empath, if that is super out of balance and you are just like really taking on other people's feelings, emotions and other people's stuff day in and day out without feeling like you're in your own natural energy, that can be a really big sign that your feminine energy is out of balance. Another one is if you are 
This is going back to what I was saying about feeling like you're almost too over emotional. You're constantly in your feelings. Um, if you are feeling like you are just in a super vulnerable state all the time, it may, you may not come to this awareness yourself by watching this video, but we've all had that one friend who's just like constantly like leaning on you for something, always has an issue, always has something going on, always has a drama to talk about, and they're always just kind of in their own feelings and stuff. That can be a really big sign that feminine energy is out of balance and is in an overabundance. Um, Next, if you are an overgiver, so if you are always giving of your time and energy to others without allowing yourself to receive and return, so you're constantly giving, you're constantly nurturing, nurturing, you're constantly the support system for others, you're constantly giving others advice or allowing them to lean on you or um, allowing them to use you for emotional support, that can be a really big sign that your feminine energy is out of balance also, if you, again, this goes back to the overgiving, if you don't really have boundaries in your life, if you just kind of allow people to either walk all over you a little bit, or if you kind of allow others to sort of take charge over you and your life, um, if you kind of allow people to call you at all hours of the day or night with no respect to your time and your own space, that can be another sign that your feminine energy is a little bit out of balance. So how do you know if your energies are in balance? So in an ideal world, you're going to feel like you're in flow. You're going to wake up for the day. You're going to feel organized with how you want to go about your day. You're going to feel like you have a nice sense of structure, whatever structure means to you. Again, it's going to look different for everyone. And you're going to feel like you can take action in a way that feels good and empowering. And that's going to make you feel confident. And that's going to allow you to take action towards your goals in a way that, again, feels good. That makes you feel like you're in flow. And with that in mind, too, you also allow yourself time to rest. You allow yourself time for self-care. You go to bed feeling tired at night. And again, you wake up the next day feeling good feeling energized, feeling good. Um, if you do not feel like you have that sense of flow, again, this can also uh, deal with money and finances as well because masculine energy is the provider and feminine energy is the nurturer. So if you are not allowing yourself to be provided for, again, if that feminine energy is out of balance, then you may notice that you have a lack of abundance, a lack of finances in your life. So when you are in that flow state, when you do have your masculine and feminine energies balanced, you're gonna have that income, that money, that abundance coming into your life in a very clear and free and open way in a way that feels really good you're going to feel nurtured you're going to feel provided for you're going to feel supported you're going to also feel like you have a great support system with other people around you who are taking care of you when you need help and when you need that support so again all of this is going to feel very much imbalanced you're going to be taking that guided action you're going to be allowing yourself to rest and receive and you're going to be creating in a way that feels meaningful to you without making you feel like you're giving too much, you're overdoing it, you're overly stressed, you have adrenal fatigue, you're exhausted, all of those different things that can come up when our masculine and feminine energies are out of balance. So I hope this video helped you to create some conclusions in your own world about what energies may be out of balance for you. And again, it, this is not a lifelong thing. I have to stress on that too. Out we, our feminine masculine energies can get out of balance throughout our entire life. You may have one day where you're super in your feminine, you're just journaling and relaxing and you're getting a massage and you're allowing others to cook you dinner. And then you may have another day where you're super in your masculine and you've got a calendar full of appointments and you're doing all the things and you're checking things off your to-do list. So this is not a one and done, let's fix this right now, let's you know clear this up immediately. This is a lifelong balance that we need to work on and allow ourselves to be open to how this can shift and change for us. Because again, 
It's going to shift and change with you with whatever age or stage you are at. It is absolutely going to shift and change. So just being aware of these different dynamics can help you realize, okay, I've been a, a little bit too much in my masculine this week. Let's bring that back into balance next week so that I can allow myself to rest and recharge a little bit more. And in the next video, I'm going to be talking all about ways that you can balance your masculine and feminine energies so that you can, again, feel super in flow in your own life. So I will see you in the next video.